Right, hello everyone, welcome back to the first E-Boys podcast of the year. Just to start off with a special message, make sure you go and stream him by James Marriott, Aww. available That's on really sweet of you, Will. Platforms. It's a good all song, good I did. Right I did all, good. all good platforms, yeah. All good platforms right I don't now. Diesel. And maybe, <laughs> if you keep watching it, you'll be able to afford an iron. <laughs> oh man, that's <laughs> horrible. What has that happened That is so you? horrible. I... <laughs> I'm going to go change. Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, of course he was going to go change. Oh, let's just, let's just, let's just go off. Um, All right, okay, free. that appears. Uh, what's my, what, what's the news sec? What's it called again? I forgot the name for it. Nutty, what, uh, news. Nutty news. That's the one, that's the one. All it's right. your thing. It's only, bit, it's, it's only been a I week. I've written it down as wacky news here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway. change it out from the new year. Uh, a man in the UK this week, um, Got drunk and changed his name to Celine Dion. Hello, it's me, Celine called... Dion, everyone. Wait, welcome back to the podcast. Surely changing your name is quite a lengthy yeah. process. Like, you know, surely it's not something you... you can just do overnight. Especially while drunk as well. While intoxicated, that might be quite tough. Or was it, yeah, surely, because I thought it was like a thing you have to go to court and do it. Surely they'll be like, yeah. Didn't Zach and Jay do it? Yeah, but they, they actually, I think they had to go through the legal process. I don't know how, how he managed to do it on a night out. Do you reckon right. he just wrote his name down on the fringes, I am Celine Dion? And he was like, oh, well, must be it now. Yeah, just. That's a, strange, that's a strange thing to accidentally do drunk. There we are. We're back again. We're back. Uh, okay. Um, all right. You've still got a little bit of nutty news left. Don't worry. You've not missed this. <laughs> I thought um, you were about to say, you still need to iron it a bit. Iron it still. No, no that one's good. That there one, are a few creases in there, but I'm willing to overlook. Oh, great. Thanks. Uh, a woman on Facebook uh, has went a bit viral for sharing. So she was like, she's having a wedding, right? She's the bride. Right. She she made a list of 36 rules for her bridesmaid, right? And made them sign a contract. Oh, my God. And I'd just God. like to read some of them out to you. Oh, no. I, really I will don't. not. Uh, I will not gain. So this is point number three. I will not gain more than three kilograms between now and the wedding. I think this was like a fair year point. and a half fair, as well. That's fair enough. Before, uh, fair enough. Well, then, I will not talk negative about anyone in the wedding. Yeah, um, that's fair enough. I will take care of my skin, hair, and nails from now until the wedding. So you got some spots. You can get fucked. Uh, the bride will choose my makeup artist on the day. They just keep going. Oh my god, um, this is crazy. I will. Hang on, where is it? Where it's is like it? the contract we have between each other for the. Evening. Yeah, this is the new boys contract. <laughs> I will iron my clothes. Uh, I, will, I will agree to save at least $50 a month for expenses for the next 14 months. A, a wedding's just a piss up. Why, why is there so many? I know, so I think rules? some people really care. <laughs> Bless you. No, col- no coloured contact lenses allowed? What? That's I want to look like a, a lizard. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> a really specific one. I don't think anyone was planning on that. You know those ones where people do like the ones where they like their eyes are completely white. <laughs> <laughs> just with the like Yeah, the ones of people using music videos and <laughs> stuff. Really? What are they going to turned up like that? What are they going to do if someone just breaks every rule? Are they going to sue them? Like, I don't think they're going to be allowed in the wedding. Yeah, you just wouldn't be allowed in. I don't said, I don't think she, you'd take legal had... action, but you would probably just not let them in. Yeah. yeah she said she had 10 bridesmaids and at by the, the end of this she had six. Yeah, no shit. And six friends, probably, if even that. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, that is so excessive, though. It must be America. This has to be America, right? Yeah, yeah. or like, I don't know, just Facebook mum over here is yeah. quite, quite yeah. strong. Or Chiswick. I will not make any advances towards males in the wedding party. Surely there's a little bit of... That's outrageous. That's the only reason you go to a wedding. That's disgraceful. Yeah. Why else would you I go? Will, I will not grow sensitive and angry with the bride because I understand that she has a bossy attitude. <laughs> no shit, man. <laughs> I mean, at least she's self-aware. I think yeah. that is yes, something. Very, very fair point, fair point. But does that make her scarier that she's self-aware and she still goes through with it? That's the real question. Awesome. If you're aware that you're being mental, but you continue to do it, then that's just like a new level, really, isn't it? Very true, very true. Can I add something to Nutty News? Yes. Have you heard of Bean Dad? Bean Sorry. Dad? Who's Bean, Bean Dad? Dad? Hold on, let me let me get up this article. Bean Dad. I wanted to know what your what your thoughts on Bean Dad is. Is it just a daddy likes beans on toast? Kind of, kind of. Outcry as Bean Dad forces hungry child to open a tin can. A, a dad what? in the United States who boasted about his parenting skills after telling his hungry nine-year-old daughter to open a tin of beans or go without food has caused <laughs> outcry on social media. 
After six Steve. hours, the child successfully opened the tin and was finally <laughs> allowed to eat. So he, he made a fucking nine-year-old open a tin can, otherwise they couldn't eat food. That's mental. I mean, that's parenting. Apparently the dad's a podcaster as well. Oh, oh, that's oh a, there it is. There it is. It. Oh, there we go. Fuck the it Bean Dad podcast. Problem. Can we get Bean Dad on the podcast? <laughs> yes, please. Can we? John Roderick. Oh, with a name like that. Oh, <laughs> apparently it began when his daughter asked him to make baked beans. Hang on. So imagine, like, your, your daughter goes, can you make me some food? And your, your dad yeah. says no and goes, you open the tin can, you little... That's horrific. That's... How old was she, though? Nine. You, you can open a tin when you're nine. Yeah. You correct equipment, right? Yeah, but if you never open a tin can before... It doesn't take you that long, no, just go... Yeah, but if your dad it, hasn't right? taught... If your Stupid dad's not doing his job, right, which is parenting, like teaching you how to do it, then yeah. how would you know? Well, I get he's a knobhead, but I think she is too. Brilliant. Yeah. How long did it take her to open? Called a nine-year-old a knobhead. Six hours. She's fucking thick, mate. Natural yeah, no. selection. Six so hours. Na- natural selection as a, a, a ni- as, at nine years old. Do you think that's right? Yeah, fucking nine. Yeah, of course it's not. it is. Nature doesn't doesn't care about age, James. If you go back, to... it does actually. <laughs> Nature does care about age. That's why it makes younger um, younger animals look cute. Right. So you don't eat them. Yeah, but I mean, like in the wild, like you can just still die at any age. Like if if we were like Neanderthals or whatever. Yeah, no, if, you for could, sure. if you could, if if a Neanderthal couldn't open their can of beans at age nine. They die, they'd be fucked. No, that's very true, actually. I'd take it all back. If you go all the way back <laughs> to the prehistoric period, there was just loads of T-Rexes, and they all died out because they couldn't open the can of beans <laughs> of their little arms. <laughs> there, are, there are actual, like, scientific examples. Like, I'm not sure if you've seen the videos of this, but, like, uh, why, I'm taking this too seriously. Uh, like, like, uh, if you look while... back in time, there's actually loads of dinosaurs that were really quite good at opening cans of beans. <laughs> why do you think they've got the big mouths? <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> No, like you have like wild cats that look after orphaned monkeys for until they die what are you because they can't about? look after them. But yeah. but the, the the catch is you don't see the the cats go. You can't eat if you can't open this can of beans. <laughs> they love it to them, and the monkeys go. <laughs> can't do it. Can't do it. Please leave me alone. That's right. why they have opposable thumbs because monkeys <laughs> needed to develop the ability to open a can of beans. <laughs> in- <laughs> <laughs> it, it would not. It would not take a monkey six hours to open a bit. Monkey would just go. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah, it would. It would just beat the cat to death with the, with the can of beans, and then it would eat the cat instead. Oh my god! All right, so welcome to 2021. Uh, I I wanted to take that into um into a question because I thought maybe develop a top. Not, not How long the, would it take not, you to open a can of beans? No, 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 no. Not monkey beans. Um. If you had to force someone to eat one food, what would it be? My bollocks. Okay. <laughs> Let's move Fucking on. Fucking get them in there. <laughs> Open up. They're coming in. Yeah. <laughs> would you prefer them to chew or swallow? <laughs> no, ser- serious answers, though. What would okay. you... I, I, I think it should be something... Your answer should be something that you thought was going to be gross... And it was but pretty good. was really good. And you think other people don't give it the time of day because it is it has that... Oh, right. Um, olives. Oh, yeah, they're quite good. You, ooh, yeah. Everybody yeah. dislikes olives, but olives are fucking great. Can, yeah, you just try they're them. Right? I don't like standing. them. I don't like them. Have you in, tried they're them the properly? best thing in a subway. They really like, are, man. If you get you a subway, you can't, can't go a subway without olives, man. It's... I feel like a lot of things that people like say they don't like, it's just not tried. Like people eat things because they're nice. Like people eat, uh, lots of people eat olives because olives are pretty nice. Like most foods are nice. Yeah, I, I don't think there's many though, foods I don't like. If I was going to go and try olives, I think the last place I would go would be Subway. I <laughs> no, they're good, go, they're good. I don't they're think good. I'd go, right, mm, mm, try to try some olives and then go, just like go down to a fucking Marshway Subway. Just go down to Subway. <laughs> well, I really want to test my cuisine out. <laughs> like your finest olives, sir. <laughs> well, like, yeah. get, some, get some out of a fucking tin and just go... <laughs> no, 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 they wouldn't give you a tin. They'd still give it to you in the foot long. So oh, right. you just, just an olive subway, bread. no cheese, not <laughs> no toasted. Cheese, so just olive just subway. <laughs> Olives and bread. <laughs> That's so cursed. <laughs> what would you do if you were, I went and you went, I just want Italian, footlong, 
just olives, olives. would they serve you? <laughs> Why would you need to put Italian at the beginning of that sentence? Because that's the, the type bread. of bread. That's the bread. That's the bread. Oh, right. Sorry. Yeah, I clearly don't go to Subway. Now. Have you never been to a Subway before? No, I, I, like, oh, I, like, the I, like, a heart, I like a hearty Italian. I do like a hearty Italian. And that's hearty the proof Italian. that I know. They've had, they've they've had a tiger bread recently, I think. Oh, tiger huh? bread. I, th- I mean, they've had Italian herbs and cheese, and that's essentially the tiger bread of the modern world anyway. Italian herbs and cheese is the best one. Mm. Eat fresh, kids. Eat fresh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Olives, I think, for me. Any of you, you know got any re- other ones? You know they're releasing a vegan cookie as well, Subway. Vegan oh, that's good. Cookie. You know, they'll have that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what, like does it. that go? Okay. Their cookies are banging, though. Their cookies are oh, yeah, no, no change. KFC cookies are top tier, though, I think. Oh, no, Subway cookies, man. The macadamia nut one. Interesting, yeah, I've never cookies, had the KFC put... cookies. They're good, they're good. Subway cookies are on a par with Domino's garlic dip, and that's fucking saying something. Yeah, but nothing compares to gravy nays. So, would you would you ever dip gravy your dip. Subway cookies in your Domino's garlic dip? Would that would oh, that be a good combination? Uh, it's no. not something. Well, when do you ever get a Subway and a Domino's at the same time? When would that opportunity ever arise? It depends. We should do, do E Boys Subway or Domino's, and we just we don't know which one we're gonna get. E Boys Buck Bang. Where we just it's order just like two fucking loads of olives food. on everything. <laughs> <laughs> You boys eat olives. Just that, that's how we start 2021. <laughs> oh man! I'm trying to George, think mush- do, you, mushrooms? do you have an answer other than mushrooms? Oh no, I could not get behind I, mushrooms. No, I know I can't get behind yeah, mushrooms. Sure. I don't like mushrooms. Do you know uh, mushrooms? Interesting. No. I'm a big did mushroom fan. Did you see? Fan. Did you see um, Mike Tyson on Logan Paul's podcast? Yes. Yeah. Fuck me. What happened? Uh, this, he had so they had he was they had the, they had a shroom guy like a guy with shrooms in the room. And he just, they kind of, they got them out. And he put, like, honestly, he had, like, fucking loads of mushrooms in his hand. And they were showing them around. And Mike Tyson got this whole handful of shrooms and just scrammed them. Just what? straight up, didn't put them on anything. And it, it must well, have been, I don't know, fucking anything. No, no, and just fucking the whole thing. Whole podcast. And just sit and did the podcast like it was now. He was just doing the whole podcast and he was just off his head on shrooms. I respect it was a very good Fair podcast. Enough. I enjoyed it. That's how we're going to do the podcast every week. I haven't watched that yet. No. no, that's what we've been doing for the last year. Yeah. It make a lot of sense. That's how we get through the podcast. <laughs> he true. must be hard as nails, though, to even feel like he probably gets like a little tickle in his nuts when he eats that many mushrooms. I reckon yeah. that's about it. Some tolerance. I don't know how much you know about Mike Tyson, but he's a pretty tough guy. Yeah. <laughs> Mine would probably be some kind of like shellfish. Like, yeah, right. that's a good one. A lot of people don't like fish. What 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 shellfish are we saying? Prawns, Ooh. especially because a lot of people are allergic. So I can just like they got shell. These are fucking prawns. Yeah, prawns are shellfish. Yeah, prawns, uh, crayfish are good if you get them from the right place. <laughs> Subway. I also think like squid. Squid is something oh, people don't great. pay enough attention to. I think squid is fantastic. I hate octopus though. Octopus is so bad. And it's a pretty much the same, dude. It's no, just got it's the funny, awful. It's got the little. Are you just having it cooked in a different way? Oh, it's awful. I hate octopus. Ball ball. Octopus makes you like squid. Huh? What did you say? What? What makes you like squid but hate octopus? Octo- I, I remember I just had octopus at a Greek restaurant once and it was just it just tastes horrible. George squid- isn't wrong. There is a distinct taste difference between yeah. an octopus and a is squid. It? Yes, mm. there really is. Um, the rings, not so much. But if you have like a- like an actual octopus like arm, um, yeah, it's... Um, you not got arms? Yeah. Yeah, they've got <laughs> quite a few arms. They've got quite a few arms, I think. Yeah, I think they've eight. Eight. Oh, they got yeah, eight, from what I can remember. they got eight pussies. Yeah, Octopussy. That's a joke in my new video, actually. Great oh. minds. Coming out June 21. <laughs> <laughs> Next year. <laughs> but no, I, I, like, I, don't, I wouldn't say I'd eat like a squid tentacle because that would just look... I, I think that would just make me feel weird. I eat squid rings and like calamari and, and shit, mm. but... And I, you know when sometimes you get the, little o- the tiny little octopus thrown in? They're very tasty. What? You know, the, the tiny little whole, whole ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I agree. The small ones are better than the big ones. Yeah. Fucking good. What a little, an actual what, like an actual? They, they resemble them. Where would you? Like, Where do you get those like from? Sushi places. What? Yeah, um, there's a certain it, um... place that actually does them, but I can't remember what it is. Is it Subway? I've and never they're, like thrown in sh- with the rest of the calamari, right? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. You're a compared, little octopus. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Little, no, no, little little man, Will's, yeah. Will's correct. You get like they would be like this big, won't they, Will? Yeah. Uh, no, but... send me a picture. I don't believe you. I don't believe this is a picture. Mate, I'm not joking. They're like, right, you can generally get like little octopus. I've never, I've had, I eat calamari all the time. I've never seen this little octopus. Calamari connoisseur. If you go, if you go abroad and you eat and you get calamari or you get Which like, um, or you get like a paella, 
you get yeah. like uh, you oh. can get like many fried octopus. When I lived in Spain, you just, like, we you had octopus all the time. Like <sighs> it so was late, like a really it? famous tapas there. Where do octopuses mainly live? In the ocean. In, in the ocean, <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> but like. In what ocean? I think, know, loads. In North I think loads. They live <laughs> everywhere, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, but I'm sure it's a Pacific one. Is there a lot of octopus? Like, how many octopi do you think there are in the world? Is there, I don't think there'd be that many. Probably at least 100, I'd say. There you go, George. Oh, what the fuck? Nah, nah, nah. I look so good, man. They're so tasty. Mate, they're Oct- so good. Octopuses are found in every ocean of the world and along every coast of the United States. They live in coastal marine waters and spend much of their time in dens. Small holes and crevices in rocks and coral. Where though, sorry? In the world? Whereabouts? Everywhere. Everywhere, Everywhere, apparently. Really? Yeah. Where? Oh, do you want to know where octopuses pee from? Do you want to know where they pee from? Is it a mouth? Once filtration and reabsorption are complete, the urine is emptied into O. vulgaris mantle cavity via a pair of renal papillae. I honestly have no idea what any of that means. We've all got one of those. Why did you tell us that information as if we were supposed to- Did you see the video of the octopus punching the fish? Good. Yes, I think I've seen that, one. that video's mad. Just punches it. It's just out of spite. I haven't seen that. Just PR gives him. It's good. Yeah, he fucking just has them. They're crazy octopus. They're really fucking powerful as well. It could break your arm. What? If it's big enough, and it it could break your arm. An octopus can break your arm. Yep. <laughs> I guess. I guess if any if any animal's big enough, it could break your arm. Though. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. If it's big enough, it could break your arm. I mean, a cat that's big enough could break your arm. Yeah. I can... No, oct- no octopus is break my arm. I could break an arm. I could break an arm. Well, you can't break their arm, can you? Because they're all wibbly wobbly. Yeah, no, you can't. You could rip it off. But th- no octopus could break my arm. You don't think? No, ab- I'm absolutely certain. Next E-Boys video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we're putting that to the test. <laughs> E-Boys see how many octopi they can fight. No, okay. I I wanted to talk a bit because you you were talking about like giving Will a chance to have his arm broken by octopuses. Have you guys ever watched one of Mark Rober's videos? Yes. yes. I oh, I've only just watched my first one. What one was it? Wait, please tell me it's the squirrel one. No, it's the shark one. It's like right. the the fish blood into shark waters. Oh yeah, yeah. that's a, that's a, that's a quite an old one, right? I, it was this year. What twenty twenty one. Fucking know he's fast. It was where he puts himself in a cage. He puts himself in it. Not this year, sorry. Last year. He puts himself in a cage with, mm. um, uh, and there's loads of sharks around and then they empty fish blood around the cage and the sharks just swarm the cage. That's, uh, sc- that's terrifying. Fucking that's terrifying. absolutely terrifying. The squirrel obstacle course one is probably one of the best videos of all time ever. That video is elite. My favorite ones from him are the parcel thief ones. Oh, uh, also elite. The parcel. He released a new one recently as well. What is so that good. parcel thief? He, they, he, like, he make, people were nicking parcels from people's doors, so he set up like a trap, and when it looked like it was a nice pair of headphones or whatever, and when they opened it, it was like a fucking glitter bomb, and then fart spray, and it was filming it, and it sent it back to him, and oh, mate, it was amazing. It was really good. That is amazing. Very, very good. He is, he is elite. Talking about animals breaking arms as well, we were watching Brave Wilderness the other night, weren't we, George? Oh, oh Coyote mate. Peterson! Mate, his channel is fucking... It's just like... On steroids. Can we please Let's turn go. the E Boys channel into that? Like we just go George, like George six Richie went. George Richie went. I went. I think we should do that this year. And I was like, "What animal do you want us all to fucking put our, our hand in its mouth?" Well, yeah. What? So what was it? What did he do? He was like wrestling. It was like a giraffe. He did a whole whole dedicated video with <laughs> uh, Jurassic Park. Right. And uh, it, it was, he was just fucking sitting on top of this crocodile, and he was pointing at like the things with the crocodile. He was like. This reminds me of that thing from Jurassic Park. Park. And then, and then it would cut, I mean, cut to Jurassic Park. So this was like Park. every 30 seconds. It was so right. good. It was like the most, it was like the biggest brand deal I've ever seen. Everybody's wearing Jurassic Park t-shirts. And he's like, uh, well, we've got this like alligator here today because it kind of reminds me of a dinosaur. And it would cut to Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, and now I'm going to put my fucking hand in its mouth. I mean, it works. It made me want to watch Jurassic Park mm. again. That series of him where he just went around getting like mental bees to sting him was fucking crazy. That was elite. that was peak YouTube. That was that was very good, very good, absolute mental cunt. There was also the one where he he pulls out this carp in one of these videos, and there's this bloke. <laughs> He's with this bloke, and the carp is massive, and the guy is just it was so strange. He's like telling him how to pull a carp out of this. Like there's these people in America who build houses for carp. And yeah, generally, what, like the carp lives in it, or they yeah 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 they live in, yeah, yeah, yeah. They they live they in like the carp live. Or they just pull like, up in the driveway what? and they like, come out. <laughs> like, and <laughs> <their ass. laughs> 
What, and like a cop and he's Mrs. Cop? This is giving me Spongebob vibes. <laughs> yeah, Mr. and Mrs. Cop. <laughs> they're, like, they're, they're like, they're like Wallaby these Wick. boxes. It's really weird, man. I don't know why they do it, No, no, do. what? No, hang on. Generally, man, people build houses for cops, but they build them underwater. Yeah, I'll show you. They're not like proper houses. I don't mean like, they don't have like a fucking fireplace. I wonder what kind of rent they pay. <laughs> they don't have a fucking fireplace and stuff. Is this, is this like, can we get, can we work our finances through this maybe? Do you think the cart property market's going to crash yeah. anytime soon? Yeah. Well, it's post-Brexit Britain, so. Cop that happened, didn't it? Fuck oh yeah, it did. We're, we're officially not in the EU. 500 grand. Oh wait, no, this is, ju- it's a place called Cop. <laughs> Right. Yeah, they're not right. renting them out for <laughs> half a meal. Carp homes for sale. Imagine if you could rent out a house for carps and just go and just seamlessly live in their world. Live in there. Do you yeah, reckon your should. landlord will be livid when they tell if there's not a carp in there? Oh, no <laughs> humans. No humans. <laughs> oh. There's a carp only his own. Oh, man. So where, where's where's a picture of people of this? I, I, you're having me on. No, I'm <laughs> trying to find it. I'm trying to find the video. I'm trying to find the video. I'll find it. Uh, how different everybody's life since Brexit? I haven't noticed anything change. Mm. Yeah, neither. I mean, apart from all those bombs that are dropping around London, everything's got as a standard. People are building houses for cop. Do you mean aquariums, Alex? No, they like... might mean aquariums. No, I don't. No, it's the big glass houses that people can look into. <laughs> in, like people's living rooms. Yeah, it's living rooms. I feel like this is an Elmsley special. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just like this. fucking fish tanks. Where is? Oh this my god! Video? I remember someone when I was younger. They had a fish tank, right? But they were they had a really nice house, and these fish tanks were pillars. So like from the floor to Ooh. the ceiling was like a fish tank pillar. Oh my god! Yes. Fucking out. Fucking hell! I used to, I used to have them in Buckinghamshire's a different world. I was gonna say fucking. Did you say that? De- Dentist. Must be nice guy to eat. No, the um the they were I think they were like surgeons, like both the parents were surgeons. How did they feed the fish? Because you surely you can't open it up from the side of the pillar. I think they were so. fake fish, but it was still like water. Ah. Oh. No, no, but I um I but my my dentist used to have one. A big tube in the middle of the dentist, just big glass tube, and it just had loads of fish in it. And and loads of little boxes for the for the fish to live in as well. Yeah, they had loads of houses in there. Big property market. Have you ever been to the Rainforest Cafe in London? Yes, no. I have actually. They got loads of well nice fish there. It's quite cool. I go for the sea bass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's... Good, nice, good, one. <laughs> very good. <laughs> I like that. I want to go on a holiday next year where there's like water where you could see the fish in it. That's my. You know when it's well, like, like Bora, so cool. I want to go to Bora Bora. Do you want to go to Bora Bora? I want to go to Bora Bora. But not with not with fucking you lot. Why? <laughs> yeah, it's imagine, a imagine holiday. you're what like, the fuck you're I want filming to go with you this, the serene the serene waters of Bora Bora, and you hear Alex go, eh, eh. Uh, fuck that. Because that's just what I do. Hey Apple, hey Apple. Why well, don't <laughs> ask? It'll be <laughs> epic. <laughs> That'd be great. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, it'd be epic, but fuck it with other people. Oh, like Cal Freezy. Yeah, Bora Bora is the kind of place you you go with with like no one. I think you go. I'd I'd probably go with. You go on your own. No, I wouldn't go on my own. I'd probably go with Arya. <laughs> All allowed to Bora Bora. Yeah, I'm just like later, Arya. Go to Bora Bora. Yeah, I'll go Bora Bora <laughs> alone. You're not going with me. Alex, you want to go to Bora Bora with me? I want to go. Yeah. Oh, I... Yeah, cool. That's fine. All right, <laughs> but not with you. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I, I would go. like to go to Bora yeah. Bora. <laughs> I want to go. I, there's a few places that I want to go. Hawaii, maybe potentially. I'd love to go to Hawaii. Seems like a nice place to go. Never been. There's a lot of places I wanted to go to next year. Chances are, won't. Japan's the one for me. I need to go to Japan soon. Yeah, Japan always seems nice. I don't know if I'll ever commit to that. Oh, you've been, haven't you, Will? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, what was it like for you? You weren't there for long, though, were you? So for like uh, seven, ten days, it's a banger. It's a banger. I, I'd go again easy. The flight's not that bad. I was talking. I was talking to Aria about it because she got in contact with her cousin who lives in Japan for the first time. Like one of her first ever family members from Japan, like that she's reached out to and had contact with. And the other day we saw where he lives, and I, mu- I like it is just like so quintessentially kind of suburban Japan. But looking at it, I just looked at it and I had this immediate boost of serotonin. It yeah. just felt so comfortable. It seems like a happy place, doesn't it, Japan? 
I think it has one of the, the highest suicide rates in the world. Oh, wow. Well, okay. There we go. Well, Cheerio. Well, there it is. <laughs> nice. Sorry. Well, not going to Japan, Woo! then. Because they, they have a culture there of success. If mm. you're not successful, you want to kill yourself. All right, like maybe a, I won't go to Japan, then. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, I mean, to be fair, as I said, we're probably not going to go anywhere next year. Um... I wonder. I wonder how. I wonder how long until it fucking all kicks back off again. I was, did they delay? Uh, my COVID science might be a bit wrong here. Did they delay the second jab, the second part of the Pfizer jab for twelve weeks? Uh, yes. Why have they done that? Um, I think it's so people can be. They want to get a wide because when you have the first jab, you're not completely protected, but you're more yeah. protected. So mm-hmm. what their f- uh, train of thought is: if we get uh, uh, the initial jab out to as many people as possible people are just going to be, in general, more protected against the new strain of the virus rather than a small, a smaller amount of the population be almost completely protected. Understood. Understood. Thank you. No worries. Yeah, let's, um, let's make a prediction now. When do you... This is our 2021 podcast question. How when many, do you how reckon many it's all over? Do you think this year? No, when do I you think, reckon this I will end? April. That's my April. prediction. Really? Yeah, that's quite that's quite close. I think April because and and it sucks because I've got my holiday booked for the beginning of April, so I probably won't be going. That's why you said April, man. You're trying to you're trying to manifest it. Yeah. Just because you said April, I'm going to say May. <laughs> Just to annoy okay. you. I'm hoping by summer we're all good. I'm going to say November. I mine is very optimistic. Mine is very optimistic, like very very optimistic, but. I'm just hoping we have a summer this year because I feel myself getting old and I'm getting sad about it. <laughs> Fuck off, how do you think I feel? Yeah, I know, uh, but still. Uh, like... in, in March, I would be in the over fucking 25 categories in the X Factor. That's how written I are. You had your, you've had your younger years, Will. <laughs> I'm still there. <laughs> the <heyday's> over. <laughs> oh, Jake, well, you've got, so much, you've got so much to live for, Will. You like got... what, Alex? Name three things uh, that I've got to live for. Probably a few more million subscribers at least, surely. Numbers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a couple million more view videos until people think, oh, he's all old now, or stop watching. But like, anything that isn't related to... No, to no, numbers. that's all you've got left now, really, because let's right. face it, your legs are going to go, so football's going to be over. How, like, <laughs> isn't it mental how in two months, rounded up, you'll be 30? <laughs> <laughs> You're practically 30 years old. Technically rounded up, he would be 30 right now as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! Human. Oh. Closer to 30 than 20 though. Yeah, that's the big one. Oh man, that's crazy. Are you alright, Will? You look like you're about <laughs> you like you're I, was just doing some, I was doing some math. I was doing some math. I was, looking, I was looking at a video of mine from two years ago and I looked at my hairline and I was just like, okay, no, actually it has gone back a bit since then. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that to yourself, man. Don't do that. I went back and watched one of my old videos and I was like, yeah, there's definitely like a square missing. <laughs> so what's happened? Where did it go? Where did it go? Yeah, fucking hell. Yeah, that's just terrible. At what point do we stop being relatable? That was a question like I've been wondering. That was a long time ago, mate. Because you have a lot of like over 30 year old YouTubers that are still going strong. But I see myself as like, I, I often get a bit like, weird about it. like I'm 23. I'm 23 years old and I'm making YouTube videos. At what point yeah. does it become not relatable to make YouTube videos? I don't know. I, I mean, like Cody and Noel are like 30 and they're still like highly relatable and stuff. So I don't, I don't think it really matters. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we just need to like get a good skincare routine. They, they look like they moisturize a bit. And yeah. It. Well, let's just do that. Yeah, they are also really attractive. I, I, I have a skincare routine, but it just doesn't help. I started a skincare right. routine and my skin got worse and it has been getting progressively worse over the months. You see, I have a theory about that. I have a theory they just make you look worse. So you keep using their products because you're worried. Uh, yeah, I think Vaseline does that for sure. Yeah. That's right. Vaseline That's- is shit, yeah. I want to go to an actual dermatologist because I reckon a dermatologist, a dermatologist will tell you the right thing. I think like if you go to a dermatologist and they go do this, I, I would do that. Yeah, them. but they might tell you the wrong thing, so you keep coming back to them. Well, well, no, then you go to a different dermatologist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they do have to actually do their job. But this would be like, I've had a heart attack. You go into the doctors and they make your heart worse. So they yeah, go, no, come back next week. I went, I went <laughs> you keep going back because you'll need the medicine. <laughs> I went to Subway and asked for an olive sandwich and they gave me turkey. Yeah, but you go back next week just in case they get it right. <laughs> it's, it's part of the fun of the game. Oh, man. Yeah, fucking hell. I didn't do anything like in terms of skincare. Um, at least you just yeah, fucking shower. Because you're nine, up. mate. That's, that's why. It. Yep. <laughs> you're fucking nine. I've got impeccable skin. Can you open any beans? No. Can I raise a question? I'll be yeah. 22. Um, so. When you guys shampoo your hair, mm. 
when do you shampoo your face? Huh? Um, no, uh, no. I I use body. Uh, I, use a, I use body wash. Do you shampoo your face? Okay, this is a thing that I. You've got a beard that, though. You've got a beard. Has, no, exactly. No, but it's fucking awful for your skin. Apparently, if you like shampoo your face, it is meant to be mm. like dread. It, apparently, yeah. shampoo bottles say don't get on skin. And um, I didn't know this, so I've been like shampooing my face like it's like it's nothing because All I have right, a beard. Just the, just the beardy bits, right? No, Not because like, but I kind of go like that. I start here and then I go like that. So it's like been going all over my face. Damn. Yeah, no, I don't do that. I do. I used to have like a face scrub, but I, I don't use it anymore. Yeah, but, yeah none um, of us do that with our beards. No, oh, yeah. my beard, <laughs> my beard's been pretty under control recently, which yeah. has made life easy. Mine's getting there though. It's almost completed. Like, it's kind of connecting now, because before it's just kind of been like a neck beard and a moustache, but now it's kind of slowly becoming something... I can't wait for the end of this year, you have a beard down, like, you like a Dumbledore. Yeah, like Gandalf. That should be, that should be your relatable glow up, because if you became like, some people may want to look younger, your aim should be to be like the wise man of YouTube and make yourself look like yeah. a, like a wizard. I did get a white hair in my beard the other day. Um, Is that sustained? That's what you thought you will do to you, man. Silver Fox. What'd you say, Will? I said, that's what your 40s will do to you. Yeah, I know, for sure. <laughs> for <Thanks. fuck>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'll, let, I'll, let, I'll let Will. Will can be the only person who can take the piss out of my age because I'll know deep down he's more insecure <laughs> about his. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm growing old gracefully, me, man. I'm, 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 I've accepted mine. I always feel like the years you don't want to be, like, I didn't, didn't want to be 20 because I was getting old, yeah. are always actually quite good when you get there because you're like, oh, well, it's just the same as it was last year. I, hoping 25 will be like that ah, because I'm dreading 25. I think it will. I think the big one is 30. When you hit the 3-0, mm. that that's mm. going to be one where you're like, oh, shit, I'm not young anymore. What's the average age people get married and have kids? Because that's when I consider myself fucked. I was going to bring this up. I saw over Christmas a bunch of people I knew from school got engaged, and that terrified me. Um, yeah, because I don't use Facebook, so I, I'm completely cut off from this world. Oh, guys, guys, guys. The average yeah. age for men to marry in 2017. Do you want to put some guesses out? Oh, tell us 27. 24. 24? Fuck off 24! Uh, Fuck off 24! 30? 38 for men. Yeah! And what? For women, it's 35.7. And that must take into account the people that are getting remarried, especially as they yeah. get older. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Bringing it up. Because if you're 70 and you're getting married, you're going to whack that average. What about getting married for the first time? Is there an average on that? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. That's a, that's an interesting one. Yeah, let's put that in. That'll be younger, surely. It is. Um, yeah. is f- it's 33 for men and 31 for women. That's class. I've got fucking ages left to be a young Shag hot birds. Dude. Have kids. Yeah, that's you, Will. Okay, here we go. Uh, kids is kids is a bit younger. Um, what do you what? mean kids? Like what? What, marrying what? kids? Well, they would be younger, wouldn't Having they? kids. Oh, right, okay. I thought you were saying kids first, getting married. I was like, yeah, I, I, I think so. First child for a mother is 29 and it doesn't say for a man. Well, that's because men can't have kids, mate. Okay, interesting point. Thank you. I, I will take that into account. <laughs> that would be a bit of a problem there. Oh, mate. He's on it today. He's on it. That's crazy. That is strange. It's scary, though. It's getting to that point where there's so many people I know at home. Do you think any of you will ever get married? Probably not. But Probably. I can't see you married, Alex. I think I would. But I just I, think... I don't think I'd have kids, though. I don't. I can't see myself. When YouTube's done, I think I would do. I'll be a different man when YouTube's done. But that's a long time yet. Twenty seventy seven. Weddings are fun nice though. City. That's the thing is, I, I, I like weddings are sick. Like you can have a fun wedding. Yeah, but one day for misery for the rest of your life, James. Oh, that's Jesus cheery. Christ! <laughs> Fucking hell, George. Are you going to make, your, gonna make that... your wife sign a prenup? Huh? Are you going to make your wife sign a prenup? Oh yeah, of course. It's the first thing you do. Yeah, of course. I don't. I don't want. I want half my stuff gone if we get divorced. He wouldn't propose. And, she, and, and she'd have table. to sign a contract to edit for Memeulus Industries as well. That's like <laughs> part of the package. <laughs> yeah, well, you can't be bothered. That'd be great. So five five Reddit videos a week. <laughs> you should marry someone from the Channel Islands and get a, a tax ev- evasion status. Chris MD. What? 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 You could do that. Yeah, you just marry someone from Jersey or Guernsey. You're fucking laughing. You should have told him that, man, because he's going to do it. Tinder, tinder gold, uh, whack it on like, my location as Jersey. Yeah, genuinely. Sorted. <laughs> he's going to do it. We're, we're joking, he's going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tinder gold, yeah, Jersey. Gold, Jersey, Jersey fucking out or Guernsey, for all. Oh, man. 
Bloody hell. I'm just going to... I have a I have a question here for everyone. <laughs> it's such a stupid question. It's going to be like, what are your 2021 goals, everyone? Ooh. Upload, more, upload weekly. I have Please. a few, actually. I do have a few. But go on, you, you start. Oh, look at us being polite. Me? Go on, yeah. 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 I, wanted, I wanted to do Tough Mudder this year, so I'm, I'm, I'm going on runs and stuff for the first... Fucking hell, that's brave. Uh, first 100 days or so, if it, if it still goes ahead, touch wood. That's that's my plan. Get a bit more motor, active. That sounds fucking terrible. Like a, like all true resolutions, I'm I'm really serious about it. So I've started it four days in. Nice. nice. I'm trying. To, I, I'm trying to wake yeah. up early. That's one of my ones. Wake up earlier. It hasn't gone well so far. Yeah. What time are you off today? All right, one. You could be getting there. Getting there. What about you, Jimbo? Well, to be honest, I was going to say before saying mine. I think with New Year's resolutions, I don't think it really matters if you start four days late. I think if anything, really? starting four days late is probably a sign you will do it for longer than starting on the day. Yeah. Because on the day you have this innate like, pressure oh, of it, line. you know. Um, I wanted to try and stream every day for at least the smallest amount of time on Twitch just to see what it's like. Just pop on, hello, go. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like even if it's just like a little half an hour thing, I just thought like, why not give that a go? So that's the one I'm going for. Good show. Twitch TV forward slash James, James Marriott show. Live, 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 live. That's This is the second time you've promoted one of my things this stream. Hey, um, I know. It's, it's, you don't know it's, Bryce is going to blow it out in the, <laughs> yeah. the edit. Oh, no, do the fucking... Stream. Bye. Fuck's sake. For fuck's sake. I think I have. I think I have some written down. I think I have some New Year's resolutions written down just for stuff I want. Go get them up and then Alex answer. Yeah, yeah I'll give him a read. I'll give him a read. So my my ones is um, I wrote them all down. To be fair, uh, it was to post on TikTok every single day. Oof. That's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to do. I've been pretty good at that so far. I've been doing that for about your three TikTok's months. bang. I didn't realize because I don't use TikTok, but your TikTok's bang. The the him one was. Funny as fuck. It's been doing really well recently, which is great. I really like that app. It's just like, because it's so, it's easy and it's no pressure and it's just fun. You know, there's no, for sure. You don't need it. It doesn't matter if it doesn't do well or if it does, because it doesn't matter. It's a 15 second video and that's brilliant. It's like, it takes a lot of the pressure off. Um, and obviously, uh, I start a post on the second channel. I want to try and do at least two videos on there a week. And then the plan is to try and do at least a video on the main every week week and a half uh, that i'm happy with instead of you know just like fucking posting all the time oh fuck's sake alex you've really overtaken me on tiktok oh well, actually fuck, fuck, that's just i've been going sake. so hard at it. but i'm still the daddy i'm still the daddy yeah george, george is still on top Pierce, man and i never post i'm so far behind everyone else i'm literally like i won't take you any time at all to um, how many have you got james to, i've got like 300 330k or something if you post it every day for a month, you get to about 600. I don't think we're going to let you in the next podcast. Okay, yeah, yeah that's right. There's a, there's a get to half a mil. Can I tell you my goals for the for 2020? Yeah, go on, mate. Hit him. Go on, then. Uh, 75 videos uploaded on the main channel, 150 Fuck uploaded hell. on the second channel, learn Spanish, read 25 books, exercise five days a week, get out of bed at 10 a.m. every day, and limit time on social media to two hours a day. So far, I've done the social media one. <laughs> <laughs> I love that for you. So far, I've turned my phone off. Yeah, no, I genuinely, I don't really check social media anymore. That much. Yeah, no, that's true. I that's don't a good amount anyway. Of, see, that's a good amount of lists. I think with with me, I'm such a simple minded person that I find it difficult to really do something if it's more than one thing. So if I train my mind on something and go like, I can do this every day for a year, I think I can. But with um with anything above that, I'm just like, because I I. I I, every year I tell myself, like, this is the year I'm going to lose weight and this is the year I'm going to be, like, the best version of me. And it just kind of... Last year, fucking COVID got in the way. This year, it's like, I want to go to a gym. Like, I want to go to an actual gym. And that's going to take, what, like, half a, half a year at least to be, like, somewhere safe. Yeah, no, they're not going to be open for a while. What I found with stuff like that, just saying it doesn't help. You need to find a legitimate reason yeah. instead of just, I want it. Because I always found that when I was doing down. when I was doing anything along those lines, if I just went, I'm going to upload every week, that wouldn't work. But if I said something like, I want to be like that person, I found it a million times easier. Like if I saw somebody else's videos I liked, and I was like, do you know what? I would like to, they're doing really well, I'd like to achieve what they're doing, I found it easier. But if I just went, I'm just going to do it, never happened. Like, yeah, I, you have to say, if you could see, also, if you could see somebody else doing something, it becomes more attainable. So that's how I always found that easier. Um, and that that was always good because I mean I go on like a walk every day now, which is more than I was doing before. 
but my legs fucking hurt. The worst part about exercise is not doing it for ages and then getting back into it because your body's like, please don't do this. Is there is there anyone is like any kind of content you're looking forward to this year? Any films coming out? Anything like you're looking forward oh. to? Oh, are so, all I the mean, films Marvel coming? stuff. Oh. Yeah, are yeah. they all coming out this year because they couldn't come out last year? I think so. Well, I think, like, the James Bond film's coming out this year, for example. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm... Sure... yeah. Surely if you had the film ready to go and you'd spent, like, 100 million on it and then no, it would go to the cinemas, surely they must have all of yes, last year's films ready to go, no? Or is that not how it works? I, no, I just... Well, obviously, production was probably shot completely last year, so I don't think mm. we've got many new films that were filmed last year. No, but not filmed last year, but filmed maybe 2018 right, and yeah. then edited and you're, like, ready to yeah. go. James Bond is the only one I know like that because they released Mulan. They weren't going to. They did Mulan. The Apparently that was one. really bad. It was terrible. I quite enjoyed it. I quite, I quite enjoyed That's it. That's good. <laughs> that is good because yeah. it costs 30 quid. So <laughs> it's fucking expensive as shit. Did you actually pay for it, Will? Or did you just get it up free? Well, G's logged in Amazon Prime downstairs, so if oh. I want to watch anything, I just do it on here. Oh, oh, okay. I'll tell you what is a good film that I watched recently. <laughs> Brilliant. Amazing. Get Love in the that. system. I'll tell you what is a good film I watched uh, the other day on Disney Plus. Soul. That is a sick film. I've heard a lot. Apparently, it's really sad, though. It's the new Pixar film. It, it's probably the best film they've done since Toy Story 3. It's what so is, good. It, what is it? What is it about? It's about I, I can't really explain too much without ruining it, but it's like about this failed musician, and he. Uh, I, I can't really explain much else, but it's re- I, I highly recommend it. It's really I might good. watch it. I might watch it tonight. No, it's good. It's good. To, oh, I fucking I started watch. I've watched the first Lord of the Rings uh, over the last couple of days. I accidentally fucking went on the extended version. Oh my oh, mistake! Mate. I, I took us three sittings to finish the first ones with my fucking attention. How long was it? It's like three hours thirty. Oh, yeah, Jesus. I did. I did a whole um like sixteen hour hour extended marathon. Where I did all of them back to back, and fucking hell. I think weirdly the second one's like four and a half hours long. And is it? Don't ruin it for us. But is is it? Is there's three of them, yeah? Yes. Yeah. And is are all of them just they walk to Mordor and then put it in the lava? Is that kind of is at the end do they put it? The, is that the? That's well, that's the, the goal. Is there, is there the a climax yeah. of every? Is there a that's climax the of every movie of like Harry Potter? Yeah, that's the quest. Is the quest is that? But is that you know like every movie? Is there because the, the, this one kind of just petered out the first one, whereas Harry Potter the defeat you know on one professor. At the end, you know, there's something you achieve something every movie. I do think Harry Potter is better than Lord of the Rings. Like, smite me down, but I think Harry Potter is no. way better. I can't agree with that. I, I, I don't have a favorite. I love them both, but I think it's not, it's not boring. It's not like a gentle stroll to Mordor because the idea is like the closer you get to it, the more dangerous it becomes. Yes. Right. So it's like it is very much like a, a build on that, and obviously yeah. everything kind of more stories get introduced and more kind of like yeah. side moments. Also, the reason why it would have petered, as somebody who's watched the non-extended and the extended editions, they all peter out in the extended editions because there's an extra right. hour of film. That's I don't. That's the crazy thing about those films: the fact that they just went, "Yep, we've got a whole extra hour." And if you yeah. watch the cut, it's not like it's not necessarily more boring. It's just everything takes an extra four minutes to get to that yeah. place where it did originally, which is a bit long. But is there extended Harry Potter's? That would be good. I've watched them all to death. Like, I don't know. If there is, I'd watch them. There's extended Wait, Star Wars, and I wouldn't recommend watching the oh, really? extended is Star there? Wars ones. They're so fucking... Some of the stuff that George Lucas went and added in is fucking pointless. There's a bit oh, where they he went in and added a full like CGI animated uh, musical scene. To what? Uh, Return of the Jedi. Oh, fuck, I yeah. I remember I had the DVD of it, for eight, <laughs> like, and I was just like, what the fuck is this? Like, when did this have? When did they add this in? And why? Oh, it's so strange, man. He's an interesting bloke, that man. But yeah, there's no st- real Star Wars stuff until 2022, so I'm just skipping 2021. Fast is that, forward. Is that a TV series? Yeah, Kenobi's going to be out 2022. And that Boba Fett one, right? I realised something. I realised something about Star Wars. Because I never had an issue with the the latest films. Because I was just like, I'm not going to go into it expecting anything other than a bit of fun. It's a Star Wars film. But now I realise why they were bad. Because I have absolutely no interest in the universe anymore. And that's like, for me, that was something quite big. Because I was someone, when the film started coming out, I was like looking up theories. And like after the first one, I was like, oh, what's going to happen? Who's this going to be? And by the end of it, people are like, have you watched The Mandalorian? I'm like, no, I just have no interest in it. Well, if you're, if the first, if you, the the only version of Luke Skywalker you've seen is from the other three films, you think 
he's boring. I don't I don't really care yeah. about what I don't really care about him. Why would I want to go watch the other stuff? But that's why the Mandalorian is so great because it's just fucking it it survive it revives all those characters like all of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I was feeling the same as you, James. And then by the end of it, I'm like, "Fuck, I'm back in!" Like you know, looking around different shit and things. The more, the good thing about the Mandalorian though is it relatively redeems a lot of the the newer sequels. Not so much, but. The main one, the one that everybody will probably end up watching, is the uh, Kenobi one because that will be yeah. that will be that will be the best piece of Star Wars ever if it's done right. It's got it's got a thingy in it. The guy who played him, in Hayden Christensen, yeah. Oh yeah, that's. Un- I thought I- it was. Um, oh god, who's the guy that plays? You and McGregor. You and McGregor. You and McGregor. Yeah. yeah, but they're they're bringing back Hayden Christensen as well. Mm. For Anakin. Yeah. Wait, so is is this going to be based after Episode Three? Between three and four, yeah. Yes, and okay. and it's. It's fifty. It's not just all Kenobi. It's fifty-fifty Kenobi Vader, which is going to be. Oh. Which is good. That's why I I believe it's going to be one of the biggest shows ever because Mando is huge, but like Darth Vader is the most iconic, arguably the most iconic character in our all time, and they're going to be doing yeah. a fifty-fifty show with him in. And if you watch the, the last scene in the Mandalorian, if the whole show is probably just going to be like that, it's going to be, oh. it's going to oh. be ridiculous. Um, oh. Don't mention it. I haven't watched it yet. Don't mention it. I haven't watched it yet. No, I'm not. I'm not uh, saying. Cause I don't want to spoil well, it. Well, George, what happens is ah, his headphones are off. I don't want to spoil it for I'll anyone. Get back on. Jar Jar Binks kills everyone. <laughs> uh, is it worth watching, uh, Mandalorian? Then it's slow for the first five or six episodes, and then it's fucking amazing. Okay, all right, it's worth it. I'll do it. Yeah, Mandalorian is brilliant. Um, I got a story. I got a story. Something that happened the other day. Me and James were on a walk. Oh yeah. We were just walking around Canary Wharf. Uh, and then there's this guy. He stood outside like uh, the train station, and he's like, uh, "Excuse me, boys." Uh, he starts giving us this big spiel. He's t- he sounds very official, and he's mm. like, "I'm a uh, I'm in the army. Uh, I've just been uh, discharged. My wife's pregnant, and we need to get back to Salisbury. We don't have any money for a uh, for a train." And he was giving mm. us. He was talking to us for about three minutes, wasn't he, James? Just giving mm. us this speech. And then at the end of it, we were like, we have no money, sorry. And we walked off. I, I, I don't think he's a soldier because I've seen him do that before outside the station. And how many times can you possibly get stuck with a pregnant wife outside Canary Wharf Station? How much money was he asking for? I don't know. Was, was the wife there? Did you see the wife? Huh? Did you see the wife? Yeah, she did yeah. look pregnant. Right. Did they just stand outside? What, he just stand, did he stand there all the time? It was just that. And he was like, my commanding officer's in... The building there, and I was like, "Oh yes, the army building in Canary Wharf." But you said he said didn't you say he'd been discharged? He yeah, but he he wasn't. He's been there before, Alex. I'm telling you, he wasn't a soldier. He'd, he'd been there before. Yeah, no, I'm telling you right now, I don't believe him. Um, and it was interesting because he went he went like, "Yeah, the last train soon." Pulled his sleeve down, and he was wearing a Gucci watch. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, how many soldiers can you say wear a Gucci watch? Like, Alex? Me, I'm a warrior. (laughs) Next time you see him, uh, go, if you're really a soldier, go, fight me. (laughs) (laughs) And and see... see No, but I'd seen this man before, right in the exact same spot, and he gave me the spiel like a year ago, probably. Well, tell him to fuck off then. Next time. (laughs) Fuck off. No, it was quite scary, so I was just like... Does he look like a soldier? He talked like one, but I could tell he wasn't because he was point. He was like my commanding officer's over there. Was he marching around? So to be honest, if he's if he's being discharged that much, he should get an STD checkup. Too right, well in. Um, my camera's just run out of SD, of SD things, so, so I think that was a good note to end it. On. Yeah, thank you everybody for watching this episode, and we'll see you all uh, every single week, non-stop for the new year. Uh, whoa, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is our New Year's resolution. New Year's resolution. We're going to do every week. If we're, if we get a deal, yes. If not, I'm off soon. Yeah, unless we're ill or um, you know the pandemic gets worse, we'll see what happens. Mm. But um, God, God forbid. See you guys next time. Bye, everyone. <laughs>